And action, please. The great thing about doing this film is that we've had we have a really successful template in the original, and um, and Rod obviously you know taking that original and reimagining it is I guess what we're calling it has come up with this script that is a version of that movie. Where do we want um, to get that shot that we're looking for, the standoff? We had a great luxury in being able to have a couple of weeks of rehearsals with Rod before we started shooting and to just sort of throw out ideas. Or there's this thing of like he drinks and it's like we look at him like you know he's not that, he's not that big of a deal, he's a pretty cool guy. I thought the script was really interesting and I, I guess because I'm always drawn to character relationships and the complexities that sort of exist there and this one is just you know rich with them. The knight can't move sideways it's got to go in an L shape remember? <laughs> to me their, their marriage was always very new maybe. You don't have to learn chess to please me. <laughs> it was still very fresh it was still a lot in the honeymoon phase yet maybe pa just past the honeymoon phase to the point where any sort of cracks or any sort of areas where they don't really connect become exposed because of the that honeymoon phase sort of ending, I guess. I think they just have this sort of superficial-ish, but kind of sweet relationship that they're skating on. Holy break, don't touch. Them. And they have fun with each other, they laugh with each other. Is that what are you gonna eat? You've been reminiscing forever about chowing down on blackie super beefy <laughs> super size. Yeah. But I think if it were to come down to how much they really know each other, um, I don't think they've scratched that surface really yet. Are you saying I'm asking for this? I mean, come on. Fresh out of the gates, we, we go to Blackie's bar and we meet some really eccentric characters. Hello, okay. Charlie? I heard you were back. Looking all right for yourself? Well, Charlie's a very polite guy and well-mannered. You know, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna get a beer before we go. Can I get you another one? No, thank you, sir. You sure? Yep. His opinion is that David is the one that comes to Charlie's territory. You like that? Yeah. Well, the E-Types didn't have him, did they? Did you put that on yourself? It's been a lot of fun working with Jimmy. He's wild. It's 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 a great ride. Like it's you never know what's gonna happen. When there were scenes between Charlie and Amy, that was very definitive in terms of sensing a history. Remember when I took care of you? But he didn't. And I think that was probably one of the biggest differences in this version of Straw Dogs com compared to Peck and Paws. And Rod's been just extraordinary in how he's created this collaborative web of connect the dots between all of us and allowing us just to sort of find find our characters and find the relationships. I don't think the dynamics between the straw dogs has changed much. He's still the quarterback. He's calling the shots. I'm gonna go scout out by Bourbon's Crossing. Why don't you uh, take the boys? He's definitely the leader of, of the group. They're all quite different, but they're a team. I think Norman had always lived and still does uh, live in, in, in Charlie's shadow in a way. Don't worry, Mr. Sumner. We'll find out who did it. My take on Bick is that, you know, he's, he's the follower. That somewhere in there that there's of this group, Charlie is definitely the leader. And so as he goes, so goes the rest of the Straw Dogs. One of the things that is interesting about playing a role like this, uh, especially when, I, you know, I'm a generally a happy-go-lucky guy. One, come on, two, nope. one, two, ready to go. You are such a chicken. You have to fi find ways to tap into that dark, nasty side, and, and that's the only way to make it work. And Rod's been really good at helping me find that. You know, he's <laughs> he said to me early on, he's like, you're too likable, so we're gonna have to really make the audience want to root for you to die in the end. You shouldn't have done that. So that's been a really a, an interesting journey the whole way for me, to, to find those nuances and find those moments. I, I bet that motherfucking lucky husband of hers never had any pussy like that before he became a big shot. Rod's note was that he's always having a good time no matter where he is, what he's doing. I've been very lucky. I didn't know Reese or Drew before before we started this production. Really? Are you guys making fun of my country? <laughs> you know, we get along very well and we're having a blast. 
both on set and off set. It's all about hanging out with your best friends. Oh, God. Speaking of which, we're so best this is friends. Our little son. We're best friends. <laughs> that helps a lot when you create that dynamic and you have, and uh, when you get along that well. I, I think this is great. I think it shows how we've gotten so close together as a as a cast. It's easier for the audience to believe that these guys actually they have known each other for a long time. I don't think so. Oh, I do. It's fun when you get to have a little input as an actor rather than just kind of just play the, the script. If I were hopping around and going, where are you, my little darling? Come around, I, 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 oh, too much. Okay, thank you. Nice. Okay. It's just one of those things that you get to contribute as an actor if you have a very open-minded director. And I think writer-directors are often that way. Uh, we're in the woods now, you see? <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. I can't believe we, got, we met yesterday. I can't feel them. I know. Isn't that crazy? It's just like we're brothers. <laughs> this film, these friendships, these characters are something I'm going to look back on and I think reflect on probably for the rest of my life. <laughs> and I don't know if I can say that about any other film. Everybody, once again, here we go.